Welcome back. Delhi High Court has granted three weeks time to Seza Goa to file its reply on the plea filed by Goa Mining Welfare Union. Seza had challenged the order of the Union Ministry of Labour and Employment restraining them to lay off as many as 1,050 working staff. Workers Union contended that the Supreme Court has lifted ban on mining and hence layoff reason does not stand. Delhi High Court has adjourned the matter till 1st October. The Goa Mining Welfare Union has filed its reply before the Delhi High Court to the petition filed by CESA Goa. CESA has challenged the order of Union Ministry of Labour and Employment, restraining them to lay off as many as 1,050 working staff. In its reply, Union has mentioned the recent Supreme Court's order on Goa mining matter. Hearing began from Wednesday. According to Advocate Suhas Naik, Union has brought to the notice of the judge that Supreme Court has lifted ban on mining in the state and Goa government is in process to revoke its suspension order and hence reason of Seza Goa to lay off the workers is not valid. Union has prayed to the court to transfer the matter to Goa since Seza Goa company is in Goa and the matter is related to Goa mining. After reply of workers union, Seza Goa has sought time to file its rejoinder petition. Court has granted three weeks time to file its reply to Seza Goa. Court has adjourned the matter till October 1st. On February 11, the Union Ministry of Labour and Employment had dismissed the plea of the Seza Goa company to lay off 1,050 employees, stating suspension of mining in the state. Order was challenged by the Seza Goa Limited before the Delhi High Court. Our reporter Mahesh Kadi for Prudent. Polling in 7th phase of Lok Sabha concluded on Wednesday. Voting was held in 89 constituencies across 7 states on 2 union territories including Gujarat, Punjab and Telangana. Today's poll will decide the fate of Sonia Gandhi and Narendra Modi. 8th and 2nd last phase of Lok Sabha poll will be held on 7th of May. Polling in the 7th phase of Lok Sabha poll was held on Wednesday at Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Gujarat, Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Dadar and Nagar Haveli, Daman and Diu. Eighth phase of Lok Sabha poll will be held on 7th of May. Elections will be held in Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Jammu Kashmir, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, West Bengal and Himachal Pradesh. Bureau report, Prudent. The High Court has rejected the bail plea of former Director of Mines Arvind Loliakar. The court has observed that the investigation in mining scam is at a very crucial stage and Loliakar can influence the witnesses if he is released on bail. Loliakar has been booked for not taking appropriate action against trading company Frost International, which exported iron ore on a forged NOC. The High Court on Wednesday dismissed the bail petition of former Director of Mines Arvind Loliankar. The High Court agreed with the prosecution's contention that Arvin Loliankar can hamper the evidence and can influence the witnesses if he is granted bail. Special investigating team of Goa Police had arrested Arvin Loliankar on 28 March. The High Court in its order has observed that there are enough prima facie evidence indicating active involvement of Arvin Loliankar in the crime. The court has also observed that manipulation with the dates on the related documents shows wrongdoing of Lolienkar. The court has also observed that there was no trading license in favour of Frost International on 2nd December 2010, but a ship of Frost was already berthed at Punji port for loading of O, which means that the iron ore to be loaded was already in possession of the Frost. In spite of that, Erwin Lolienkar gave registration to the Frost as mineral trader. Our reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. Income tax authorities conducted search operation at Delta Corps premises and Peninsula Land BSE Limited premises in the state and Mumbai for alleged tax evasion. Sources say some 25 residential and official premises of the two companies were searched in Mumbai and Goa as part of the operations. Sources say that a related probe also covered Peninsula Land BSE Limited, which is a party to three denotified special economic zones in Goa. According to sources, the Income Tax Department's investigative wing conducted search and seizure operation in around 25 residential and official premises of the two companies in Mumbai and Goa. Of the five offshore operational casinos with gaming licenses issued by the Goa government, Delta owns three. Delton Royal, Delton Jack, and Delton Caravella. 
Dalton Royal is India's largest offshore gaming vessel and has 850 gaming positions across 123 tables and 250 slot machines. The four-level casino also has an in-house dining and entertainment restaurant and an exclusive lawn. Delton Jack has 350 gaming positions and a heli bed. Meanwhile, sources say that a related probe also covered Peninsula Lend BSE Limited, the real estate arm of the Ashok Piramal Group. Peninsula Lend owns several properties in Mumbai, including Crossroads, CR2, Peninsula Corporate Park, Peninsula Techno Park, Peninsula Business Park, Ashok Towers, and Ashok Gardens. The company is involved in three denotified special economic zones in Goa. Bureau report, prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 